with us Upekshi, who is a committee member of the Youth Wing of the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society. How are you doing today? Very well, and you? Me too, doing great. So tell us about today's competition, what's it about? Well, uh, today is a poster competition organized by the Youth Wing of the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society for 17 schools. So basically how this came about was in November 2017 under the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society the Youth Wing was formed. So what we did was we went into about 17, 18 schools and educated them about nature, wildlife, the importance basically of conservation, the importance of how we should protect these parks. Um, deforestation, pollution, everything stood together and especially the human elephant conflict. And so basically the next phase of it was to get them to portray the importance of conservation throughout. So here we are today. So how did the schools cooperate with y'all? Were, were they enthusiastic in sending their artwork? They were extremely enthusiastic. Actually eight schools of outstation, we brought them yesterday and we took them to we took them to the zoo because we wanted to make them understand why you shouldn't have animals in captivation. We took them to the museum. So they had such a lovely time yesterday. But over the last weeks they have been working very hard just to get this for us. And the Colombo schools too, they've been looking forward to it, which gives us that enthusiasm as well to do more. That's really great. And uh, so do you all hope to do more of these in the future? Yes. Um, so basically next year's plan is for us to go into the north and the east as well and basically develop it into a way where they themselves through their school engage in conservation activities so that they can help their community. So us as a youth wing, what we want to do is we want to motivate them and basically be their guidance towards all this project that they will basically organize. Wildlife and Nature Protection Society. Tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Zainab. Uh, I'm a passionate conservationist and envir environmentalist. Uh, I'm on the committee at the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society, which is the third oldest environmental organization in the world. At 124 years old, uh, it, we decided we need to change and that we need to incorporate the youth in our work and in our mission because they are the future for conservation. Uh, and hence we launched the youth wing of the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society at the end of last year in November. And during the course of this year we have achieved a lot as the youth wing. Uh, we have worked with 18 schools from all across Sri Lanka. Uh, schools from Colombo but schools from out of Colombo as well. Especially schools located just outside national parks like Udawalawe, uh, Lunugambera, uh, Galgamoa, Wilpato and so forth. And all these children have come down to uh, Colombo for the weekend and they're having an art and poster competition where they're quite literally depicting their future by colouring our future. Uh, they're telling a story about what does the environment mean to them and what, does the, what, what do they want the environment to look like uh, for their children and their grandchildren. So tell us a little bit about your society, how long have you been in it and how has it been so far? Uh, so I've been involved with the WNPS uh, for the past year. Uh, and over the course this year I actually got onto the committee so I am involved in a lot of other issues for the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society but I myself have been a passionate environmentalist and conservationist since childhood. Elephants are my passions, I have worked in human elephant conflict.
And this is Bhatia from Methodist College, who is here with her club members today. How are you doing today? Nice to meet you. I'm doing very well, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm the president of the Environmental Club of Methodist College. Um, this is actually the first time we're doing something like this and it's quite interesting. Uh, we're very passionate about conserving animals and nature and that kind of thing. And so actually we really love this concept because we're very creative, we love doing stuff like this and yeah, I think it's, yeah. Tell us about your contributions to the uh, art competition today. What have you all done here? Right, so our topic is, I believe, quite unique. We chose albinism which uh, not many people have done research about. Uh, so we had to do extensive research really to put these up. And albinism is uh, the lack of a pigment called melanin in certain animals. It's quite rare, but uh, due to this, they, they have this, uh, they're white, right? And uh, people, as they're rare, obviously people really like looking at them. So there are various problems that these animals face and we thought that we'd focus on a smaller topic just to make people aware of how many things we really have to work on as people. So like you said, is this, the, this is the first time you guys are doing a competition like Yes, this is the first time because uh, this is the, the, it was this year that the Wildlife Nature Protection Society actually started this youth wing and uh, so this is the first competition we're having. I, I know they have planned to do more in the future. Uh, and I think a poster campaign is really unique because you really don't see it happen often. And yes. So, so will you uh, hope to send in more of your works in the future and contribute towards it? This is, uh, the committee changes every year. So we are just hoping that even as the club members change that they will continue to contribute and really value what the Wildlife Nature Protection Society is doing here. Yes.